You are not gonna believe me when I tell you this, but I swear it's true. And good thing I got it on camera to prove it. I was outside enjoying some fresh banana bread when all of a sudden I saw something. It was a little forest woolly bear lost on the beach. I quickly spit out my lunch and put it in my pocket for later. I very carefully picked up the cute little fluff ball who was so far from home, but he told me his brother was lost somewhere out here too. So I found him and picked him up as well. They told me they were just trying to go for a beach walk and got lost, so I took him for a beach walk. We even found a huge jellyfish that was stranded on the beach trying to die. We couldn't just stand and watch this cute jelly pancake turn into a crunchy waffle, so I very carefully picked him up, rushed him back to the water, and yeeted him to Bikini Bottom. I was having so much fun with my little furry friends, but it was getting late and the cubs were getting tired, so I gave him some kisses and I brought them back to the forest. I found their mom just laying in a patch of grass, so I laid them down next to her. I covered them up so they wouldn't get cold, and be sure to like and follow for more animal rescue videos. You are not gonna believe me when I tell you this, but I swear it's true. And good thing I got it on camera to prove it. I was outside eating a fresh sandwich when all of a sudden I saw something. It was the stranded jellyfish. I spit out my lunch, put it away for later, and ran over to help. I really didn't want him to end up like all his cousins, so I very carefully picked up the beautiful jelly pancake. I told him everything would be alright and gave him a kiss. Next, I rushed the jelly boy back to the water, gave him a gentle yeet back to Bikini Bottom. Now for the crazy part. I found a shrimp named Monica with seaweed on her head, and she also had a huge bulging parasite infecting her gills. I couldn't let this parasite suck on Monica any longer. I slowly and very gently began lifting her gill flap and pulling out the invasive blood-sucking isopod parasite. Once the surgery was complete, I yeeted the parasite to my friend Franklin's sea chicken, but his friend Josh tried to eat it, so he scared him away. And Franklin's hot girlfriend Tracy was no fan of their immature behavior, so she decided to eat the parasite herself. I gave Monica some pets and set her free. I found a stinging lion's mane jellyfish and carefully picked it up with my bare hands. I rushed it back to the water, gave it a kiss, and it gave me Kardashian lips. No, I'm just kidding. I yeeted it back out to sea. If I accidentally did kiss a tentacle, my lips would be looking thick. What the? Oh my gosh, check this out. This is a big chunk of stinging jellyfish. I'm gonna try to pick it up without getting stung and put it back in the water. Maybe a hungry turtle can eat it. Go on, little dude. Oh my gosh, check this out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. This thing is huge and it looks like it's all together, it's not broken up. This thing could still be alive, so I'm gonna pick it up. Oh my gosh, look at this. All right, go on home. Yeet. You're free now, I'll miss you. I saw a wet slimy sack laying on the ground and I almost had a heart attack because this wasn't just any old white sack. This was Squidward's egg sack full of baby squiddies. I couldn't let these little dudes dry up on the beach. I quickly rushed them back to the water and just as I was giving them a gentle yeet, I was struck by yet another terrible scene. My dude Patrick was being eaten alive by an angry sea chicken named Steve. I couldn't watch. But good thing Steve's hot girlfriend Bella invited him over for lunch because Steven Seagull forgot all about Patrick and I ran over and snatched him up. I gave Patty Boy a kiss and yeeted him back to Bikini Bottom. And just when I thought my work here was finished, I found my friend Spongebob and he was trying to dry up too. SpongeBob. I rushed Mr. Squarepants to the water and yeeted him back out to sea. I tried to save Mr. Krabs too, but it was a little too late. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. I found a dead stinging nettle jellyfish laying on the beach and decided to pick it up and eat it to a hungry sea turtle. And right after, I found what appeared to be a piece of jellyfish bacon. I knew the turtles would love this. Next, I couldn't believe my eyes. I found a huge, thick jelly pancake just laying there trying to die. I quickly picked up the beautiful jelly blob and couldn't believe the sheer size. I gave it a gentle yeet back to sea. I was removing a giant bird feather from my eye when all of a sudden I saw something squirming in a muddy hole. I had absolutely no idea what it was, so I shoved my hand in to find out. Turns out, it was a shrimp named Rihanna. She had a pulsating, invasive parasite living in her gills, literally sucking the life out of her. I gently removed the festering isopod, yeeted it to my good friend Franklin the sea chicken, set Rihanna free, and be sure to follow if you love ocean animals.